Hello and welcome. Today in this video we are going to actually uh, configure DHCP server and DHCP relay agent. Okay, and then we're going to configure DHCP snooping and we'll uh, understand what is DHCP snooping and what it does basically. And then after that we are going to configure IP source guard. Okay, so uh, first of all, as you can see in the topology, we have a couple of uh, distribution layer switches in the top right here, DLS1 and DLS2. DLS2 will be okay the uh, DHCP server that will provide IP addressing for a VLAN that doesn't exist actually on the DLS2 but does exist on the DLS1 which is VLAN 100 so DLS 100 as you can see is running on the DLS distribution layer uh, distribution switch 1 and the access layer switch 1 as you can see right here so both interfaces are access ports okay in vlan 100 this interfaces actually are in vlan 200 and as you can see i configured svis svi 200 okay on the dls1 uh, with dot one ip address okay and dot two for the distribution layer two so what we're going to do first we are going to actually uh, go ahead and configure dhcp on the distribution layer switch two okay and configure the relay agent for VLAN 100 so the client in here okay this is Ubuntu box uh, that will get an IP address via DHCP okay from DLS2 okay let's go ahead so as you can see I'm on distribution layer switch 1 I'm gonna actually make the window a little bit uh, bigger let's um, there we go Okay, I think that looks much better, right? So uh, let's check this switch basically. I have already configured the IP address in. Okay, show IP interface brief, as you can see here. So um, the IP address of this distribution layer switch is 200.1.1.1 with slash Tori subnet mask. Okay, so as you can see right here, okay. Uh, the SVI on the switch dot one and dot two for distribution layer two, right? And then I set up the VLAN, show VLAN brief as you can see. So I have configured two VLANs, VLAN 100 that is running, okay, uh, downstream with the access layer switch one, and then VLAN 200 that is connected actually to distribution layer uh, two switch, okay? So that's it. So first, I'm gonna go to distribution layer switch in here. Show IP interface brief right there. As you can see, it has an SVI 200 configured an IP address dot two. As you can see, and the interface is up and up. So first, let's check and the ping 200. Okay, I'm gonna issue the do ping 200. Which one? Which one? Which one? To make sure the ping is working fine. As you can see right there, so now what we're going to do, we're going to configure DHCP on this switch right now, okay? So to configure DHCP, IP DHCP pool, okay? Let's name it LAN, okay, 100, okay? And then the network, we're going to give it the 100.1.1.0 slash 24 subnet mask, okay? Here we go. And then the default router will be the um, 200.1.1.1, which is the LS1 right there, okay? And then let's configure domain, okay? Domain name itnetspace.net, okay? And then probably you want to do the lease, okay? Those are actually optional things that you can do. The lease, let's say, um, zero days and eight hours, okay? The lease will be for eight hours. And then IP DHCP, let's actually exclude the addresses DHCP, okay, exclusion, let's ex exclude the first five IP addresses, okay, 100.1.1.5, right there, and that's it, okay, let's verify the configuration show run section DHCP, and as you can see, the lease domain name, Okay, itnetspace.net, 
default router, which is the uh, DLS one. So uh, the configuration of DHCP is pointing to DLS one. So we are on DLS two, as you can see here. So the configuration is on this guy will provide DHCP services, but the VLAN 100 doesn't exist actually here. So what we need to do, we need to actually configure routing so this switch here okay can access the vlan 100 subnet okay so um let's do that while we're on the switch so configure terminal what's going i'm going to do ip route okay to reach all the networks right with all masks this is the default route VLAN 200 because we are running just VLAN 200 here and then we are going we are, we are going to go with the interface okay and then the uh, next top IP address so next top IP address will be 200.1.1.14 uh, okay the SVN interface that's configured DLS1 here we go and let's actually ping the VLAN 100.1.1 and as you can see VLAN 100 is reachable from the HCP server. Okay, so I think we are done on DLS2 basically. So let's uh, do, let's write memory, copy running config to startup config, or simply type WR, write to memory. And let's hop to DLS1. So here, what we are going to do. We're going to go under the interface VLAN 100 and then actually we're going to actually type IP helper, okay, IP helper address, okay, and the IP helper address is 200.1.1.2, the IP address uh, of the distribution layer to the DHCP server, right? So this will be a DHCP rely agent that points to DHCP, which is running on DLS2, okay? So here we go, that's it. So I think at this point, we should get an IP address on the client because everything looks good. And okay, let's check, let's actually log into the client. Okay, Ubuntu. There we go. Let's log to the client. There we go. And uh, to actually check the IP address, we issued the command EF config on uh, Ubuntu Linux. We didn't get any IP address. So what we're gonna do, we can do sudo um, etc it's the init dash t okay networking restart and check if we get an ip address ef config again we could even actually bring the interface down and bring it up again ethernet zero down down okay and then let's bring it up down 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 Okay. Okay. F config Ethernet zero down. Okay, it's permitted. I need to be a super user, and let's check just with the EF config. Here we go. So the interface went down, and let's bring it up again. F config. EF config. Here we go. And we didn't get an IP address basically. Let's do some troubleshooting in here. Let's check if the uh, do show VLAN brief on this switch here. Here we go. Um, yes, actually, this interface we have just configured this interface on VLAN 100, but we didn't actually we forget to configure this interface right here that's connected to the client in VLAN 100. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, interface Ethernet 0 slash 0. Okay, let's make it a switch port. Switch port mode. Okay, access. And then switch port 
access okay vlan 100 right there okay at this point we should get an ip address we could even enable the uh let's do debug okay uh debug ip dcp server events there we go debugging is on so uh let's do the same down and up and let's bring it up again ef config nothing let's do sudo reboot okay let's reboot this client right now dls i'm gonna check on the distribution layer one to show vlan brief to make sure all the interfaces are in the correct actually uh, vlan so we have the connection to the uh, distribution layer 2 and this connection down to the upstream access layer that looks good i mean okay and here we go so ubuntu and the password go ef config and as you can see we get an IP address from the DHCP okay so uh, after that what I'm gonna do I'm going actually configure the uh, DHCP snooping on the DLS one okay so to configure the DHCP snooping the command is IP DHCP snooping okay and then enable it globally and then we need to enable it for the uh, VLAN let's say VLAN 100 and we want to enable it for VLAN 200 as well okay and then we need to specify the trusted okay trusted interface for DCP snooping as you can see so the trusted interface will be the Ethernet 00 so we want all the incoming requests and all the messages from DCP to be trusted on this interface because actually we're getting okay information coming from DHCP server right here okay and this one will be untrusted a port by default all the ports actually will be untrusted but this one because it's connected to the legitimate DHCP it will be a trusted port let's do that okay Ethernet 00 as you can see and then I'm gonna say okay IP DHCP snooping trust okay that's it there we go you can actually verify show ip dcp snooping right there as you can see we have the trusted uh, port okay and the rate limit we, we are not li rate limited because it's trusted trusted port and the rest are we can rate limit actually a uh, packet how many packets uh, or how many bytes you want to allow actually to go through uh, uh, certain interfaces regarding the DHCP snooping. As you can see in the top right here, DHCP snooping is configured on the following VLANs 100 and 200. Okay, and yeah, insertion of option 82 is enabled and so on. So now I'm going to tell you what is DHCP snooping basically does. So DHCP snooping basically protects okay network against a rogue DHCP server let's say we have a client on here okay let's say we have uh, some uh, other DHCP on here um, trying to uh, okay I think I did something wrong right uh, yes here we go what is the uh, ds3 there we go. Think I think I think I think recent. Okay. So basically, what I'm uh, trying to say, let's say we have a uh, a client. Okay, we have a uh, DHCP server. Let's choose another router here, right? Okay. Let's say we have a DHCP server in here that is connected to our network okay like this so DHCP what it does DHCP snooping what it does actually it protects the network against 
DHCP rogue server from actually sending okay packets to client so if this client actually will accept okay uh, will uh, accept actually messages from this router one which is rogue DHCP then everything will be sent to the rogue DHCP instead of legitimate DHCP server so we we'll actually we want to protect our network from those kind of attacks and I hope this have been informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing okay